Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let's have a discussion on the title Enhancing Stegnography in Digital Images. Stegnography is a battle that never ends. It mimics the already established science of cryptanalysis. Note that a stegnographer can create steganalysis merely to test the strength of their algorithm. Steganalysis is achieved through applying different image processing techniques, example, image filtering, rotating, cropping, translating, and etc. More deliberately, steg analysis can involve coding a program that examines a steg image structure and measures its statistical properties. Example, first order statistics, example histogram or second order statistics, correlation between pixel distance and direction. Apart from many other advantages, higher order statistics, if taken into account before embedding, can improve the signal to noise ratio when dealing with Gaussian additive noise. So in this paper, an adaptive approach called a stegnoflake is being discussed. Stegnographic algorithm consider the entire image file to embed the data aimed for concealment. Our motivation is based on promising results we obtained during our initial experiment. We noticed that by embedding in certain region of images, for example human skin, can assure us higher performance for the following reason. Human skin and faces in particular are generally the core element in images and thus in video files automatically directing our algorithm to non-smooth regions where the embedding is desirable. The algorithm resists cropping attacks as it is unlikely that human faces will be deliberately cropped. Exploiting success in biometric field makes it feasible to resist rotation attack. Since detecting human eyes would give our algorithm excellent reference point to correct and restore the initial angle. Now let's have a discussion on the data flow diagram. Looking on to the data flow diagram, here the stegnography is being extended on video files. They have to select an input video and convert that into frames. The video file used in our project will hold 50 frames. It is a face video, so you will be detecting the skin region detection using certain algorithm that is discussed in the paper. And you have to convert the skin region detector into YCBCR color space. And you have to select a frame to embed the secret information. Here we are following the MSE as the error metric and PSNR as the quality metric to decide which frame to be selected. So depending upon the selected frame, the DCT based embedding algorithm is used to embed the secret message. It is a binary message that is used to be hidden inside the detected skin region. Finally, you will be getting a stegnoflage image. And by replacing the existing frame using the stegnoflage frame, you will be converting it to the stegnoflage video. And um, that particular video is called as embedded video. Um, it will be having a stegnographic technique inside that which uh, focuses on the improvement in the quality of the image. Now let's see the execution of the program. To execute the program select main project underscore video dot m and press run file. This is being displayed uh, and it's an m file. So you will be getting a dialog box first to select an input video. This is the input video and press open. The video will be displayed in figure number 1. This video then will be converted into frames. It will be holding 50 frames. After that, skin region detection will be done. And that particular area representing the skin alone will be collected in this figure 4. So this phase three, so figure 3 and figure 4 will be done appropriately. That is the binary phase will be collected in figure 3. And the color phase image representing the phase region alone will be collected in figure 4. This will be proceeded for all the 50 frames. May take some time. The skin region detection algorithm just focuses on the face region alone. Mainly depends upon the edge oriented gradient information to detect the skin region. Then it will be followed by a DCT embedding algorithm to embed the secret image. The secret image will be a binary image. So after completion you have to convert your 
original video component to Y component, CB component, CR component and this is the mixture of Y, CB, CR component running for all the frames in the video and after being completed you will be getting a dialog box to select the secret message the secret message is nothing but this copyright it is a bitmap image and it will be holding the information as a binary text so that particular information will be embedded inside this video and you will be getting a stegnoflage image finally the stegnoflage image will be embedded inside a video and the frames will be converted into video and you can see a stegnoflage video finally the result video will be stored here as result.avi when you click that that particular result frames will be shown here and this is the stegnoflage video it will be stored as an avi file and you can also play that outside the MATLAB command window and regarding the project implementation we have presented in this work some background discussions on the algorithms of stegnography that is deployed in digital imaging the emerging techniques such as DCT, DWT and adaptive stegnography are not an easy target for attack especially when the hidden message is small that is because they alter bits in the transform domain thus the image statistic distortion is kept to a minimum generally these methods tend to have a lower payload compared to spatial domain algorithms in short there are always been a trade-off between robustness and payload in this paper we propose a new color image technography method called as technoflage which outperforms s tools and fy in many ways thank you